And this is Caitlin Ohashi, impressive to say the least. There was a time where I was on top of the world, an Olympic hopeful. Simone Biles. She will now be the American Cup champion. Caitlin Ohashi wins it. I was unbeatable. Until I wasn't. Garms, tight body. This girl's joy is just being present. She just keeps going and going, like nothing's stopping her. Living day by day and enjoying every second of it. But being but being even at a young age. Even when she didn't have gymnastics, she was still in the gym. Gymnastics was her world. Caitlin Ohashi of Woga on floor exercise. That girl that you would think had it at all. All these medals in her room. Podium she's standing on. She felt like she had nothing. Well, here's young Caitlin Ohashi. Double pike dismount here. Pretty well, solid routine. Yeah, still going to get a very good score, but she can be actually much better. Fans would tell her that she wasn't good enough. She didn't look a certain way. She wanted to eat junk food and feel okay the next day and not have to worry about getting kicked out because she couldn't make a skill. That meant constantly exercising after a meal just to feel good enough to go to bed. She was on this path of almost invincibility. And then her back just gave out. She wanted to experience what it was like to be a kid again. Caitlin, smile! I was broken. No one ever fully knew what I was going through and I never really could say or publicize what was wrong with me. I was happy to be injured. I was told that it was embarrassing how big I had become. I was compared to a bird that couldn't fly. These are all things that I heard before I had even got injured, things that when I was skinny, I was told, so what would they think of me when I had become big? I couldn't accept myself. Gymnastics was my worth, it was my life. I hated myself. It took me finding Miss Val in UCLA and having a different goal and path to follow to finally find joy and love within the sport again. What is that? Togetherness. This is what? Yeah. Togetherness, the bond, the fibers yeah, of the really trampoline. Nothing. This is Bruin family, right? Mm -hmm. And what happens with Bruin family? We trust each other, right? It's about trust. It's about enthusiasm. It's about passion for everything we do. It's about the fact that we're all very unique and we all bring different things to this fiber, right? I look up to my coach so much. My mom wasn't exactly happy when I quit elite gymnastics and wanted to go to college. Ms. Val asked her why she had like a change in her heart. And she said, I see how happy my daughter is. No ducky. No ducky. And that's all it took to really to feel like a person again.
I think gymnastics can be a very brutal sport. But I don't think it's supposed to be a brutal sport. I just hope that in 10, 20 years, there will be people leaving the sport feeling untouched by it. At the end of the day, I think this should have been my path. I haven't been able to feel this type of happiness in a long time. I found my joy, my voice, myself, and my love for the sport. It's not the outcome, it's not me standing on a podium with medals, it's me being able to walk out with a smile on my face and truly being like happy with myself and that comes first. <laughs>